Right, onwards. Well, another sequence, another memory. <laughs> wait, wait a little while for it to load. Loading, loading, loading. Uh. Oh, here we go, it's Bishop Welcome again. Back. Now that you've experienced life as an assassin, are you willing to pick up the fight and join us? Deacon, load the file. Coming up. We lifted a media file from Abdergo last month, and the information it contains is astounding. Astounding, huh? But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, press play, sit back, and ready yourself for the truth. Okay. What if I don't want to press play? Do I press B? No. Uh, I guess I'll... Oh, okay. Good choice. Welcome to the Assassins, Initiate. Uh, level 5 security clearance, blah blah blah. Oop, it's frozen. There we go. In the 1950s, it was theorized that human DNA worked via the triple helix model. Some years later, the work of Crick and Watson demolished this theory. Well, these cutscenes are really the lagging the Today, stream. We know the double helix to be indisputably the basis of all life. So why mm -hmm. did the triple helix theory gain so much traction? Why did Rosalind Franklin's x-rays seem to confirm it? It turns out that their initial samples had been taken from small traces of precursor DNA, the rare genes of an ancient race embedded in our own. Yeah. We now know that triple helix DNA is the foundation of the precursor genome. It is the genetic Rosetta Stone of our age. If we can crack it open, if we can sequence the full precursor genome, there is no limit to the knowledge we will gain. Using Animus technology, Precursor history will be open to us for the first time ever. Ancient languages will be unlocked, and ancient technology will be ours for the taking. Mm -hmm. Imagine what will be possible if we master the technology that underpins the pieces of Eden. Such discoveries would surpass 100 fold That's that sword from earlier. of the atoms. Last year, we located a rich sample of precursor DNA in a donor whose genes contained human and precursor DNA at an incredible 25 to 1 ratio. Our work will begin with this sample. Our goal is to unravel the triple helix, sequence the precursor genome, and change the world for the better, forever. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Phoenix Project. Well, that was interesting. And extremely laggy, by the way. So, this is where we stand. Last year, Abstergo acquired the body of a man we call a sage, one of a rare breed of humans with a surplus of ancient DNA. Aha, uh -huh, so from Black Flag. The search for more sages in the present and in the past. The more Abstergo finds, the closer they get to their final goal. We've blocked their recent attempts to find more, but Abstergo will not stop looking until they sequence a full precursor genome. So, why Arno Dorian? Why chase an assassin through the French Revolution? It turns out, at some point in his life, Arnaud came into contact with another sage. We need you to find out when and where these meetings took place. If Arnaud was present for this sage's death, it might lead Abstergo straight to his body. Naturally, we'd like to find it first. This mm -hmm. is where you come in. It won't be simple. Genetic memory must be tackled in sequence to keep the data stable. But we're confident you're up to the task. And you won't be alone. Other initiates, assassins just like you, are doing their part to end this fight. 
If you need more training, more experience, you can call on them for help. All right. Ah, so that's the multiplayer part of it then. Okay. Loading the next sequence. Right, well, hopefully that will be so laggy now. Seriously, they've got to fix this stuff. Assassination abilities, ranged weapon, assassin cash, money pouch, stun grenade, communal sense, disguise, locksmith, healing, double assassination, thick skin, environmental blending, staggering strike. Okay. Uh huh. So I've got four points. Okay. So we have a ranged weapon, that might be useful. Stun grenades, okay. Stealth. Communal sense. Share eagle vision. Mm. Double assassination. The ability to vanish by becoming mundane activity. Okay, so the old walk onto a bench thing. Okay. Health. Group healing. A little more damage. Okay. Um, let's see, do we have any preference? Hmm. I think I'll go for double, double assassination. Staggering strike. Hmm. Yeah, I think. Double assassination is the way to go. One last thing. While you've been busy, I had Deacon do some poking around in Arno's memories. Seems he was a busy guy. See that symbol? That's a co-op mission. I play a lot of games multiplayer. I don't know about you, but I thought you'd <laughs> like to mix it up a little. These are missions Arno ran with his assassin buddies. So they'll give you an idea of what our organization's about. Just walk into the glitch and you'll get all the details. I've marked them on your map. Okay. So... Okay, I see. So this is just all the bit of all the kind of stuff you can get and everything. Now apparently one thing that's rather frustrating is there's about three different currencies that you can use in order to get the stuff. And if you notice there's like, you know, you have to collect things, but you can use you have to buy them using like assassin points. There's you play points. There's all kinds of things. It's very confusing. So yeah. All right. <laughs> Excuse me, come on through. Let's try and get to this mission before I run out of time. There we go. Yep. Yep. Whee! Yep. Woohoo! Up. Oh. 
let's get down there. Oh. Oh. Let's just oh. sabotage that. And the creep points. Okay, so you got those are creed points. I see. So, yeah. Sequence three, memory walk for one. I hope this is short. <laughs> What's the mission? Mission. Let's get your arse in position. Don't ask questions, piss pop. I live to serve. Mission difficulty. Okay. More diamonds, more. Oh, no, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Kill the guards and sabotage the bell. Okay. I should have just jumped off there. That's it. <laughs> well, that was about as stealthy as a uh, brick through the window, but hey. Lord Guillaume de Roussel has generously agreed to our price of 40%. An act of desperation. What about the priest? You'll come around. <laughs> Your confidence is infectious, Seabare. My boys will have the wagon ready. Here are the details. Make sure it goes smoothly. Of course. Make sure that it goes smoothly, cretin. When have I... Oh. Murder! Murder! These bastards Help! always have bodyguards. Well... There you go. Next time, do that before Good night. Screaming. Sleep tight. Why do we hang about here when Sivert still lives? He killed Monsieur de la Serre. Patience. Loot the dead, loot the dead. Council's waiting for our report. I must escape. Uh oh. Smoke bomb. Uh, press right to, to select smoke bombs. Press. Okay. Drop the damn smoke bomb. Oop, I just threw two of them. See you guys. Oh, and he's just he went through the window. Ah, run! You must escape the area. Ah, shit! <laughs> Wait, what? What is this doing? They still need to fix this mechanic. It is without that. Ah! Oh. 
Oh, double kill! Oh no! Oops! <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Sivert still lives. He killed Monsieur de la Serre. Patience. Sivert is not the target. Not today. Come on. Council's waiting for our report. Okay. You'll never get past all of them. Drop some smoke. What? I disabled the bell. Didn't save it. Uh. Whoa. Oh dear. Stop them. Stop them. Avoid them. Doesn't matter. There's always more fanatics. Can't save everyone, piss pop. Well, there's a cheery thought. Extremists harass the population. Paid by the Templars. We'll leave him to it, I think. You call that a run? You call that a run? Whoa. Excuse me, sorry. I'll still be running when you're dead. Yeah, 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 old man. Whoops. Faction fight. Guards in blue always attack extremists. I'm dead again. Damn it. I 
I was reading the instructions. And it's taking forever to load again. Keep up with this guy. It's Belloc again. Belloc, whatever his name is. Just trying not to strain your heart. Whoa. Jesus. Not to strain your heart. I can't believe this. We've not seen C there for a year, and you're letting him walk. All because his name wasn't on a bloody piece of paper. The timing's not right. Too many variables, too many loose threads. And if we lose him again, he'll be at Notre Dame. <laughs> it's still talking, the, sub the subtitles are still following it. You can replenish your tools, ammunition and medicine at shops. Okay. So what happens next? We take this ledger full of Templar records to Mirabeau. Killed last night, wasn't us. Templars have been killed. Don't seem terribly fond of him. A He's Templar a politician. Civil war. Sees himself as a great Would peacemaker. Things or make our lives Thinks he can end the war between assassins and Templars. Bring the revolution to a happy conclusion. Convince dogs and cats to. Mm -hmm. The customs agents of France can rest easy. Arpinot's dead. Shaking down imprisoned nobles seems a bit out of his oeuvre. What are the Templars up to? If we hadn't spent the last year hobbled by your damn truce, we might know that. Here's a point, Honoré. The truce was with Grand Master de la Serre. The man's been dead for two years. Whoever's in charge now, you can be certain they aren't sitting idle. We might have learned more had we not allowed Siver to escape. Siver was there? I know your heart is set on keeping the peace, but bringing Monsieur de la Serre's killer to justice would count for something, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. But do not confuse your personal vendetta with a sound strategy. If he wants to kill Templars, let him kill Templars. Lifetime all I can. Boys ready. Mm -hmm. Very well. Assassin. I charge you to go to Notre Dame de Paris and to find there the Templar agent 
Charles Gabriel Siver. You will learn his secrets, and when you have done so, you will bring him peace in accordance with our tenets. Yes, Master. All right. Nice.